It's a former Academy School District 20 student under arrest tonight facing attempted murder charges accused of threatening violence against three schools in Colorado Springs. Right now, the suspect who attended two of those schools is in jail in Elbert County. Arrest papers showed these were the targeted schools, Timberview Middle School, Prairie Hills Elementary, and Pine Creek High School. News 5's Lindsay Jensen, Jensen explains how authorities found out about these plans and when they told the district. D20 officials tell me the Elbert County Sheriff's Office notified the district on Tuesday, four days after the arrest on March 31st. You know, this is a day uh, that you hope will never come to find out that someone was this close to planning an attack on a school. My whole body went numb and sort of cold, and I think that's the best way to describe how this feels. According to arrest papers, William Whitworth, who identifies as Lily, admitted to planning an attack on Prairie Hills Elementary, Timberview Middle, and Pine Creek High Schools. According to D20 officials, Whitworth attended three of their schools between 2014 and 2016, but only for a few months at a time. Questions that we're hearing from our community saying, well, what did we know about this student? And that's that's in their student file, and so that's protected information. According to the Elbert County Sheriff's Office, it was Whitworth's sister who made the call to law enforcement. I spoke with a mental health professional who says this was the right move. Even though you might have been sworn to secrecy or maybe it's really scary to report, uh, we always want to side, err on the side of caution, and we want to protect people. We want to save lives. The arrest affidavit shows Whitworth told a deputy they were only about a third of the way from following through with a threat. Whitworth also said they've been planning for a month or two. Immediately when we found out, we were so thankful that someone heard something, saw something, and did something. Sheriff deputies found two notebooks with several names, including former school shooters and President Trump, and found a dry erase board with what they believe is a labeled floor plan of a school. Deputies did not find firearms inside the house, but they did locate firearm cleaning liquids. Now Cortez says the district is talking about what they can do better to help students and staff. And so we could see some new learnings come from this. It's a little too early to tell, but um, it would be foolish for us not to learn from this. For News 5, I'm Lindsay Jensen.